Sam Siro's work is endorsed by some of the most powerful consumer groups in America. The advent of sudden acceleration closely matched the introduction of complex electronic controls in motor vehicles. Each manufacturer, almost without exception, had cases of sudden acceleration. The difference between Ford Motor Company and the other companies is the other companies made design changes uh, much, much more quickly than what Ford did and did better design changes than what Ford has done to date. So their sudden acceleration is behind them, but Ford continues to have sudden acceleration problems. In its defense, Ford points to the last major government investigation in America. That examined ten different makes of car which had accelerated the moment the driver switched on the ignition. The government concluded that an undetectable electronic fault was virtually impossible. It was far more likely to be driver error. But that report was 11 years ago and only included one Ford model. And it's clear Ford's own engineers were aware of the potential dangers over 20 years ago when the first cruise controls were patented. Wiring board is subjected to a harsh environment. Leakage can develop between adjacent conductors over a period of time. The speed control could malfunction to result in excessive accelerations of the vehicle. One of the most telling documents Ford has had to reveal is a diagram showing engineers considered all the possible causes of sudden acceleration. It's important to know that their engineers uh, did plenty of, of uh, thinking about this, and they diagrammed all the potential problems. The fancy name for it is a fault tree analysis. It's just an, an engineering tool to identify what can go wrong and seriously wrong. The diagram clearly shows Ford believed that sudden acceleration can be caused by transient signals, just as Sam Siro says. They knew before they ever got to the testing phase that if they didn't do certain things, they were going to have disasters. They knew that. 